We're now going to solve an application that can be solved by writing a proportion. You can write your proportions in many different ways, but we're going to write them so that the numerators have the same units and the denominators have the same units. So let's look at a beginning setup of our application. Remember we're told that 2, and that's inches, corresponds to 9, and that's feet. So over here I'm reminding myself that I'm going to place inches in the numerator and feet in the denominator of the proportion or the ratio on the right. So we want to find the length of a home represented by a line that is 11 inches. Since that's in inches, that will go in my numerator. And we're looking for a length in feet. We're finding the length of a home in feet. I'll let that be x. I'm encapsulating our problem solving steps here, but notice you need to go off the side and write what x represents. You need to understand, you need to translate. I've just translated, and now we're going to solve this application by solving this proportion for x. Let's do so by cross products. Here I have 9 times 11 that is 99 is equal to 2 times x, or 2x. And then how do I solve this for x? I'll divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 2. And notice on the right side, I have 2 over 2, which is 1. 1 times x is simply x. The left side, 99 over 2. Let's go ahead and write that as a mixed number. 2 divides into 99. 49 times with a remainder of 1, so that's 49 and 1 half. What does that mean? It means the length of the home is actually 49 and 1 half feet.